In this video, we are discussing replication in MongoDB. So, let us consider one diagram at first. We are having multiple client applications are running. So, multiple client applications and they are performing read and write operations on this primary database. And whenever it is performing some write operations causing some deletion, updation or insertion, then obviously the updated information or the modification information must be conveyed to this replica set 1, 2 and 3 MongoD applications through this replication process. And that is why multiple client applications are performing read write operations on this primary database whatever the changes we are going to have on this primary database should be synchronized should be done through the replication on this replica set 1, replica set 2 or 3 MongoD applications. So, in this diagram we can see that the client application can interact with the primary node and after that it creates a replica to store onto the other nodes are there. So, accordingly this diagram we have explained here. All the secondary nodes are connected with the primary node and there are only one heartbeat signal from the primary node will be available. So, multiple secondary nodes are there and only one primary node. And that is one heartbeat signal which will be generated by the primary node and which will be accessible by the secondary nodes also. So, all the secondary nodes are connected with the primary node and there are only one heartbeat signal from the primary node. And when the primary node goes down, the secondary nodes cannot get the heartbeat signal. And absence of this heartbeat signal will be detected by the secondary nodes. And in this way, it will get this information that the absence of the heartbeat node means the primary node due to some reason has gone down. So, this is the primary database being content in the primary node and this is the replications are being done onto the that is a replica set 1 MongoD, replica set 2 MongoD and so on. And that is one heartbeat signal which is being conveyed between this primary database and this replica set 1, 2, 3. And there is one arbitrary is there and that is primary database will be also doing the communication through this heartbeat uh, with this arbiter there. And now the heartbeat is also being conveyed in between this replica set 1 MongoD and the arbiter also. Now see what will happen? The secondary node waits for 10 seconds for the heartbeat. After that, it can understand that primary node is not working if the heartbeat is not available for the 10 seconds duration. After that, it elects the new node as a primary node. So, that is the process here. Just consider this one. Here, we are having this primary node and here we are having the respective secondary nodes. The heartbeat which will be generated by this primary node will be conveyed to the secondary nodes. So, secondary nodes will get the idea, yes, my primary node is on, it, it has not gone down. But if the primary node is going down due to some reason, then the heartbeat will not be available. And these secondary nodes will be waiting for 10 seconds. And after that, one new primary node will be selected through the election process and you can find that this secondary node it might be this one also that is not an issue. So, this particular secondary node due to election has got selected to work as a primary node and now it is responsible to generate the heartbeat and that will get synchronized that will get accessible from the other secondary nodes and again this primary node will maintain the replication process as always it does. So, in this way we have discussed that how this replication is working in our MongoDB environment. Thanks for watching this video.